everyone, and welcome to day three of our 2948 anniversary special. I'm Sandy Gardner. And I'm Chris Roberts. Today, our biggest Flea Fly Fly Free Fly event to date continues through next week. We'll be featuring a different Star Citizen ship manufacturer every day and making all their flyable ships available to test fly for free. Yes, currently anyone with an RSI account can get into the game and try out uh, all the flyable ships. There are 80 of them all in total. Uh, but today we are focusing on a brand very close to my heart, Origin Jump Works, and their luxurious collection of ships. Yes, very luxurious. And to discuss the ships of Origin, here are John Crew, Chris Smith, Stephen Cam, and Jared Huckabee. Origin Jump Works. So, what do you think of when you th think of Origin Jump Works ships? What, what's, what, what terminology pops to your mind when you think that's an Origin ship? It's luxury. It's, like, it's, it's the ultimate the, luxury. The luxury brand. Expecting an escalating series of luxury. He was a luxury. Ultimate, the ultimate luxury. The best. The grandest luxury. The, superior. Yeah, it's definitely uh, one of the most distinctive styles in our game. Um, and it has grown over time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a performance aspect, I think, that's always been appreciated to it. Because even in the first, uh, 300i commercial, mm -hmm. there it introduces what is speed. What is speed? Right? Yeah. That is that was the intro for it, and um, I think even from the early introduction of the ship, they had always talked about performance, not necessarily combat performance, but uh, the thrill of flying it. They they right. look fast as well, even like when they're just that static. helps. They have those sleek curves like like modern race cars from the original 85X, and yeah, yeah. yeah. well I would. The yeah. one that came out was yeah. like started to move towards. It was more that angular sloping. when it was first. Well, I would say uh, out of all of our manufacturers, the Origin has arguably gone through the biggest change mm. as far as the style guide. You're uh, going maybe, through those changes right now with the 300. Yes. Reports. Yes. As a matter of fact, I am, and you know, so sort of we working, uh, rethinking the shape language. You know, from the original, you know, 300, which is very iconic. Uh, people love that ship. Uh, it was you know, designed a while ago and concepted, uh, so there was no real guide for it. You know, it was just like, hey, loosely luxury. It had to be redone, and it's a good time now that we have this, the new style. I mean, once the 600i came out, that was pretty much the, it laid down the groundwork yeah. for the for rest. A lot of the external stuff, especially. Yeah. <clears throat> Go back to the racing thing, as far as the 350R goes, you know, I mean, it's still, it works still because it's like a, like the four-door Porsche car, you know. Right. It's still performance, it's still luxury. A little bit more forgiving, yeah. Yeah, I need forgiving <laughs> ships. Yes, just, that'll be a common fast, thread yeah. through all this. I need forgiving fast. ships. You can hit it and nothing will take off. Right? Yeah, yes. and it's nice to have that variety because I think uh, when people talk about, you know, car enthusiasts all talk about, uh, you know, this or that car being a good racer, whether it's a track racer or a street racer, mm -hmm. and if speed were the only consideration, there would only be one favorite. And a driver. You talk to yeah. Them. yeah, clearly, <laughs> clearly they all have opinions and preferences. Right. So yeah. the, the M50 is like an <clears throat> F1 car. Mm -hmm. I, w I, was, I always thought of the Razor as an F1 car. The Razor was more like the uh, F1. The Razor, I always see like Le Mans because it's got the endurance with the M50s all about the agility and change direction, whereas 350R is like, I guess, a dragster and like, it's all about right. that straight line power. Yeah, it's less maneuverable, yeah. but it's still really fast. I think out of all of our manufacturers, Origin's probably the closest to real world car manufacturers in, its, mm -hmm. in the way it does stuff, in the way it looks and markets itself. So we've, yeah. we've got the 300 series, we've got the 100 series, which is kind of the, the starter version yeah. of the 300 series. We've got the M50, uh, we've got the 600 yeah. exploration and touring version, which is our bigger luxury yeah. yacht kind of thing. Uh, then you've got the 890 at the upper end of that yeah. scale, which I don't even, how would you even describe the 890? Uh, you have your super yachts in the real world, and then you have those like billionaire. Everyone's sat at Monaco with their big super yachts, and then there's one of these things that's just sat outside the harbor because it's so it big, go it in. can't it go yeah. in. <laughs> And then the 890 has the 85X right. to go with it. Yeah. There's the X1. I love the, the, I love the 85X. Yeah. 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 It's so big, it has. It's like its own little enclosed world. I love the 85X. Yeah, that was kind of a surprise favorite. A lot of people liked it when it uh, became flyable and wasn't necessarily like uh, expected for it to be so curvy and uh, yeah, so we, pretty when it came out. The style sort of changed. Yeah. Now, available right now, we've got the entire 300 series, the 300, the 315, the 325, 350, and those are flyable right now with our free fly that's going on. But 
we did say you are in the process of, of, of reworking the 300. 300 series, mm -hmm. I, I think in our top 10 uh, ship, uh, most populated ships, the 300s count for like three of them. You know, the 300 and then the, the 325 and the 350, stuff like that. So the work that you're doing right now is going to affect a lot of star citizens. It was a pleasure to be able to go back finally to it. go back to it. Right. So now I'm, I'm adding more purpose to it. And uh, for the variances, you know, there'll be different cargoes. The interior will be a lot bigger. You'll have more living space. The bed will be better. I, d I built it originally without a bed, and then Chris was like, "Where's the bed?" <laughs> and I was like, uh, I, "I didn't know." Guess it can go one. in the hallway. Now, earlier you brought up the Origin was the most most like a real world car manufacturer, and that's a that's good segue. Thank you so much for that, no by the way. Uh, to a new feature that's coming online soon. I don't want to put a date on it, but yeah. something that we're working on. Uh, still early days, but ship customization. What can you tell us about? this new ship customization feature? At the moment in game, you, you have your ship and you can customize it with the, the VMA or like the front end menu of mm -hmm. customization. Through the mobile glass. Through the mobile glass, whatever, on the, on the actual arena commander screens, whatever. That's very separate to sort of where you get your ships in the first place on the website. There's the website and then there's the in game. And what we want to do is move, not move, or combine like, the, the flexibility of customizing your stuff in game and put that on the website. So when you're going, oh, I, I want to get this ship, you can go, I like that ship, but wouldn't it be cool if I could have it in this color and with these items? And then when you have that, that's what you get in-game out the box. You don't have to then spend time, effort in-game to, to go around the place and find all these bits and put them on your ship. It's there straight away. So sort of moving towards having like the equivalent of modern day car customizers. When you go to have, Tesla. Yeah, you go to Tesla or, or any other, other car manufacturers are available. Okay, so, so before you pledge anything for a ship, yeah. you'll, be, you'll be able to go to the, we the robertspacenagers.com website and use a tool to select, I want leather seats or I want yeah. not leather seats, whatever. I want to have a yeah. fast red paint job on it or I want to have satin black and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We're not quite sure. On the exact the extent of it, the extent of it, there's there's some things we can do very simply from the development side, like exterior paint, because we have the paint system in game, so that naturally is going to work. There's there's other bits like being able to customize all your interior materials. That's mm -hmm. that's a significantly harder yeah. development challenge. So um, we're going to pick pick our battles of like the big bang for buck areas where. Well, really where you care about customization yeah, is like like any new what you see all the time, kind of what thing. other people see of you, rather than going, oh, I want to make the bolts of my ship bright pink. And this is one of the reasons why the uh, 300i, which was originally scheduled for 3.4, has been pushed yeah. back to 3.5 right now, because yeah, we're trying to get this system, we're trying to bring this system online with the 300, yeah. so 300 acts as like a test bed. For yeah, it. and it, again, it falls back into the, like, the origin being that luxury manufacturer that will have this website tool to do that alongside the new luxury ship. And it, it all it seems makes to sense for that manufacturer. Yeah. 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 Three on dry first again, huh? <laughs> all right. So Origin Jumpworks, luxury manufacturer, uh, a style, I, I think probably one of the most definitive styles. Uncompromised. Uncompromised. I have, um, I have a thought on it also that Origin is perhaps the most civilian of all of the ship manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And that is a, this being a good thing and uh, not one where it's like, oh, it's not military or oh, it's not industrial. Right. People want different things. So there has to be a place for everyone. And uh, I think Origin is a great representative not only for the civilians of the universe, but also where they want to end up. I love you sometimes. I got nothing to add. Sometimes. I got nothing to add. Yeah. Th thank you guys so much for taking your time to be here. Uh, Chris, we're going we're, we're to let you have a break, and we'll, we'll come back with Aegis. To, we'll come back with, with, different, with somebody else for Aegis tomorrow. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. And uh, uh, don't forget the free flight going on yeah. uh, the rest of this week. So. Should be fun. Yes, it's pretty cool, actually, to see Steve and Cam in a discussion. <laughs> Why are you like it, su so surprised? Is, Thank you guys for your discussion. Right now, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's, he's be, he was a fan for, for first and foremost. Yep. And uh, also a lawyer. And then the yes. two things have now collided being part of Star Citizen. It's very cool. Now get out there and see what Origin has to offer. Each manufacturer's ships will only be available for 24 hours. Yeah. Now you do have the rest of the week to try out the brand new Anvil Arrow though. 
And remember to head to the IAE West going on at Lawville right now to check out all the ships in-game. Yes, that's right. And after flying all the Origin ships, head back to the website to take the Anniversary Special Quiz, where you can show off your knowledge of all things aerospace. Score high enough, and you'll be able to be entered into a drawing for the opportunity to win your very own Anvil Arrow. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, so that's it for today. Join us tomorrow when the featured manufacturer will be Aegeus Dynamics. Yes, I like that one. Have fun and fly safe. We will see, see you, you in the verse. verse. Thanks for watching. For the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42, you can subscribe to our channel or you can check out some of the other shows. And you can also head to our website at www.robertsspaceindustries.com. Thank you very much for watching.